So guys, it's been a while since I've made my last video. I was on vacation, but I'm back and there's definitely a lot to talk about and there's no better way to kick things back off than talking about the Cleveland Cavaliers because they have sneakily been one of the best teams in the league this season and even though sometimes you can definitely tell they are young, I'm definitely super excited about the future and even what they can do this postseason. Before I begin, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like on this video and subscribe. It only takes 5 seconds to like and subscribe, plus you can always change your mind. I'm now on the road to 10k subscribers, and I know you all can help me get there very fast, and by the way, thank you all for getting me past 8k, it truly means the world, and we are just growing super fast right now. So yeah guys, this has been a crazy NBA season, and I can't believe it's already starting to come to an end. For the Cavs, they've been getting in a groove as of late, but I do have some concerns about their ability to start out and close games against the elite teams in the league. I'm not too worried about it though because again, we all need to remember that this team is super young and it might take a few years for them to make a deep run, but it is definitely frustrating because they have so much talent on the team, they just lack depth. Bench play has really been the main issue of this whole season. I was really surprised to see that Kobe Altman didn't make a trade at the deadline. I will say though, Karis LeVert is starting to play better, I gotta give credit where it's due, but the Cavs just don't have any consistent shooting on the bench at all, and it's created bad spacing the whole year, and I really do believe the bench is the reason they are going to be a 50 win team instead of a 60 win team. Again though, it has been getting better as of late, and hopefully the bench can get hot in the postseason. Osman just had a really solid game against the Nets, but this offseason, I really do hope they get some shooters like Seth Curry on the roster, but I know that is easier said than done. Anyways, moving on to the win over the Brooklyn Nets, I would have liked to see the Cavs close this one out a little better, but overall, they got the job done and that's all that matters. But honestly, I kind of wish we would have lost this game, because I would much rather see the Nets in the first round over the Knicks. I don't think anyone is scared of the Knicks, but it's pretty clear this team matches up with the Nets a lot better, and Brooklyn doesn't have much experience together with all the deadline trades. Stat-wise, in tonight's game, Donovan Mitchell played incredible, as usual, with 31 points and a plus 20 plus minus. Jared Allen finally returned from his injury and had 12 points, 14 rebounds, and 2 blocks and was very disruptive on the defensive end. Garland had 17 and 6 and Mobley dominated in the paint once again with 17, 4, and 3. Also, I can't forget about Levert who had 18 points off the bench and he's been playing really well over the last few weeks. One play that really made me excited from this game is right here and sorry for the blurriness, but as you can see, Garland is coming off a fake screen by Mobley and is ready to step back. In this position, he literally has so many options. He could have passed the ball inside to Mobley who then could have attacked the rim or threw it to a wide open Okoro in the corner he could have drove in and dished the ball out himself or gotten a wide open layup, he could have just passed it to Okoro, or he could have took a step back, in which he did, and obviously he splashed it. Things like this is why I am so excited about the future of the Cavs, and if they can somehow just get a knockdown corner shooter next year, I'm not sure how you're going to be able to guard everything, defenses will just have to pick and choose. But yeah, overall, I am pretty confident in this Cavs team heading into the playoffs. A series against the New York crowd will be tough, but I think Donovan Mitchell is going to want to prove something especially when he hears booze and hopefully the bench is knocking down shots because that's what the series is going to come down to anyways that's going to be the end of this video thank you all so much if you made it to this point and if you enjoyed and haven't already make sure to drop a like and subscribe because it really helps me out and we are getting closer and closer to 10k let me know in the comments below what you thought about the recent Cavs win over the nets and also what you think about this team now that the postseason is almost here that's going to be all I have for today though, and until next time, I'll see you all later.